Hi, I'm Tony. I wanted to make some of my own plectrons, and so this is my attempt at doing just that. Hope you enjoy this. So I went into the garage and I found this lid to a chlorine bottle which I'd used to mix some plaster parasine and it felt like quite a nice plastic although it was a little bit thick so I'm going to cut a little piece out of here and see what I can organize with this. I have got a nice piece of plastic over here. I just need to clean off some of that over there and wash that in a little bit of water. So I have my little piece of plastic here and I thought, well, instead of just making it um, ordinary, I'd like to actually perhaps put a little design on there. So I took um, just an ordinary inkjet printer uh, and on my drawing program just reversed the, the picture that I wanted. And what I'm going to do at this stage, I'm going to fold that in half so that my design will end up on both sides of the plectrum. So I'm going to put that my piece of plastic in there like that and then I'm going to get to a hot iron. Great. Uh, as I indicated this just too thick to actually use as a, a plectrum. So I'm going to Put that in like that. Uh, I'm going to be using my my wife's iron, and I know that she will absolutely hate it if I if I damage it. So I'm going to get an extra piece of paper over here, so that the plastic doesn't come out and melt onto the surface of the iron. I'm going to put that in there like this, and I'm simply going to take my hot iron and iron on this plastic get it really nice and hot if it does melt it's going to melt into the paper so that's not going to matter too much this will take a little while let's turn that over start feeling that it's starting to get a bit thinner you'll have to just figure out what is best for you in terms of the thickness that you are wanting ah it's starting to feel good great let's see how that goes switch off my iron right back at the sink again I'm going to open this up I see my paper tears off of, of here as it's melted into that. A bit of soap perhaps. Let's get that in there. Thoroughly wet the paper so that it starts to peel off. And see what's happened here is the paper has come off. Uh, but the design has actually burnt its way into into the plastic. Okay, so um, oops, there we go. There is my little piece of plastic. Uh, it's a little bit thinner and certainly flatter. Remember, it was a curved section that I'd cut out, and I'm now just going to cut that. I could have left this a little longer. It's still a little bit thick for me, although a lot more flexible. So for my next one, I'll actually do a little bit longer. And now I'll just take my scissors and cut out the shape that I would like. And there's my little plectrum with my logo on. There we go.